So the method that I like to do is tensioning the drum at opposite sides, going round until the tension kind of starts to come up. So the reason for doing this is that the tension on each lug has to be the same. So the pitch at each point on the drum has to be the same. So that when you want to bring the head up or bring the, the, the sound of the drum down on, in either the resonant head or the batter head, we're trying to bring, bring this skin up as one because it's got so many, so many lugs. It's, it's like when you're tuning a cello or a violin, you're tuning one string, put, one, put tension across one string. Well, here we're tuning a skin and it's got, I don't know, 18 lugs, so they all have to be the same, or they have to be near enough to being the same. If one was to tension one side and not the other side, then the sound would be terrible. So for me, the batter head, which is the head that I play on, is I'm looking for a sound where the skin is tight enough um, to allow me to play in a comfortable way, so I don't want it too loose. And then with most of my drums and the bass drums the same, the resonant head, which is the head on the opposite side to the head that I'm playing on, um, I have that a little bit lower so that then they're not perfectly in tune with each other. Mo most of the pitch comes from the resonant head, so it's actually the resonant head, the head you're not playing, um, that gives the sort of fundamental to the pitch. Trying to work out the best sound for the drum in every piece, different piece of music, is, is one down to the drum, and if you're using animal skins, that makes a, a massive difference, or the humidity in the room. Here it's quite dry, so I'll make things looser. Um, and then the, the room you're playing in as well makes a huge difference to the tuning you do for the drum. Basically, I'm always looking to get this really super subby low end out of the bass drum. So I tend to over tighten the skins and then bring them back down until a point that it starts to sort of bloom and have this beautiful kind of sort of sound to it. I don't tune to a specific pitch. I'm really looking for a, a certain sort of colour, a certain sort of resonance for the room and for the music. So I think we'll, we'll leave it there for the minute and we'll play the batter side and then see if this is, this is working. <laughs> 